Thanks for joining us. I'm Nick Giovanni with the WBZ News Update. Here's a look at our top stories this Sunday, starting with a five-year-old boy who's in the hospital with serious injuries after being hit by a car in Foxborough. Now, police tell us he was playing with his cousins when the group decided to cross the street to meet up with some other neighborhood kids. Now, the five-year-old, we're told, fell behind and got hit while he was trying to cross. He was taken to Hasbro Children's Hospital with serious injuries. The driver did stay at the scene and we're told is cooperating with investigators. No charges have been filed at this point. One man is dead in Springfield, shot and killed by police not far from the MGM casino. Officers responded to a disturbance call from the casino around 2 a.m. regarding an armed man acting aggressively. When they arrived, police say the suspect ran off. Officers followed, and according to police, there was an exchange of gunfire. Suspect was taken to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. Some Delta passengers flew out of Logan Airport this weekend while their luggage stayed behind. Now, the problem was an issue with the automatic system that sorts bags. But several pilots didn't wait, taking off without all the bags that have been checked. Now, Delta says it's in the process of forwarding the luggage left behind to their owner's final destinations. Now for a check of the forecast. Here's meteorologist Jacob Wyckoff. Nick, we do have a next weather alert in effect for the next couple of days in advance of what will be a pretty busy Tuesday. Right now we do have dry conditions on our satellite and radar, but we're watching this band of flurries move into parts of New York and into New England. This will be our band that we're watching for heading towards the midday and afternoon hours. Should be one step below what we saw yesterday with some coatings, maybe even up to three inches yesterday. Today, probably a coating to an inch or so, mainly north of Route 2 will we see some of those accumulations. Now, there could be a band that sets up as well. This would be like a snow squall that rolls through heading into the evening. But by and large, most of us avoid any sort of big issues with any snow that falls today. That won't be the case heading into Tuesday. Today, upper 30s, low 40s for our highs with that straight chance for a flurry to accumulate potentially, though, on Tuesday, an impactful winter storm. Plowable snow for some, mixing at the coast for others. Still, I think Tuesday's morning commute will be a bit tricky. Four to eight inches as you go inland outside of Hopkinton, Framingham area. Uh, the higher elevations picking up the eight inch totals closer to four inches as you get closer to sea level. But we have that uncertainty circled for Cape Ann into Boston into Bristol and Plymouth County. If we get more mixing, that would cut down on totals. Less mixing, we'd have to boost those totals up. So that's something we're watching as we get a little bit closer to the arrival of this system. Here's our seven day forecast. We have that flurry chance today, snow chance on Tuesday, and then Thursday into Friday, we have a couple of chances for some wintry mix, although these days are actually looking more mild, so probably rainier as opposed to more wintry weather. Nick? All right, Jacob, thank you. This has been a WBZ News Update. Have a great Sunday.